Now I'm what you'd call a nervous modder, or nervous fodder, however you want to view it, but basically I'm going to do a modification, and let's see how this is going to work. I'm cutting into my 3x3. Three three. This is just a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. First step, take the stickers off. And that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully without taking any skin off. I'll tell you this about Rubik's Brand Puzzles, they really like to peel the stickers on nicely. They stay on pretty well. Okay. One sticker off. Now what? Next sticker off. So let's see if you can guess what I'm about to do and what kind of a puzzle I am making. Another one off. Now I'm going to come up here. Peel this guy off. And this guy off. Now I'll give you a hint. This puzzle is based on something that I have, uh, which I really liked. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really narrow it down too much. But that's all you get right now. Now notice I'm only peeling some stickers off. And there's a very specific order that I'm doing. All right, let's see. Now, I generally look at puzzles like they were works of art, even a three by three. So it takes a lot for me to go into and try to do any modification. I must know exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, or I must have such an urge to get this puzzle or to make it that it's worth me trying to destroy a perfectly good 3x3. Three three. Okay, so here's what we have here. These are a little eroded, so I'm probably going to replace them, but I'll probably replace them with um, another sticker of the same color. So I'm going to take this off over here. And take this off over here. Okay, so this is what I have here. Now with this, I'm going to continue the process of cube destruction. Well, it's not really cube destruction. No puzzles were actually harmed in the making of this video. Here we go. Keep your eyes peeled. Speaking of which, i try to get this one off. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. Well, no, not yet. I'm not done with the destickering. Okay, so what we appear to have is, well, a two by two, right? Two by two surrounded by just kind of a blank set with this. So where do I go from here? Okay, the next thing I'm looking for is I had to ravage another cube to get the pieces, and I'm looking for corner pieces. Now what I want to do is I want to turn these basically into little blocks, little one by one blocks. So I got to get this off. So I'm just going to take a Dremel and make with a Dremeling, just sort of shave this down. Turn up the gain a little bit. All right, ramming speed.
what I'm looking for is as much of a triangle as possible. And then once I have that, I can start sanding it down with the sander. So we'll pull this off. Put this part on. And just kind of sand this down from here. Okay, and after sanding it flush, we have this kind of a situation. What I'm going to do is do that for a whole bunch of them. Uh, now, we've got this little doohickey over here. So this is something that you can fill in with some, uh, some epoxy, just to give it a more triangular look to it, just depending on how much you um, want to get it it's square, fully square. Um, that's only if you want it completely perfect, not as necessary, but if you want it to look nice and spick and span, then you could do that. All right, so we're gonna take epoxy sculpt and you take one and one mixtures of each. So I'll find some down here. Take just a little bit of this, then mix it with the other type over here. So it's sort of a even 50-50 mixture and just mix it around. Now this one is white one. Probably should have got the black one, but I can always color it later. And just kind of mix it equal parts. Once you do that, you have a little bit of time before it hardens. And once it does, maybe a little bit more of this one. Once it does, it'll become nice and hard on your whatever it is that you're trying to find. Okay. So mix it together, mix it together. Um, now I think that they come in different colors. There's a black color also. This is just what I had on hand. All right, so mix together nicely. And then what I'm gonna do is just try to turn this into a rectangle. Just take a little bit here, plug it into here and just convert it into more of a sharper corner or flat. and just kind of press it down there. Okay, so that'll seal that in nicely. And I do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do that with four more of them. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece here and uh, I'm gonna put a green sticker on this guy. Just like that. And what's going to happen is this is going to end up right over here. Right like that. The one on the side here, this is going to come off. Okay, so this will end up here. Just like that. Now on the back of this is going to be another green sticker. Okay. So this guy is going to end up over here. Now, be sure that it's the same size, the same size, because that's, that's going to mean something. So when I super glue this on, it can't cause any issues. It can't lock it up at all. Now, you probably guessed what this is. If not, you will. So yeah, the size is the size is just about perfect, I think. 
just about. All right, so then I'm going to take some super glue. Right over here. What I'm going to do is buff this part too, only because it might take the super glue better. There, it creates little ridges and stuff, or something. Just like that. Okay, just enough to be dangerous. And Shazam. Now as much as we can, we want to get the green stickers. I might end up restickering this a little bit just to get the colors to match a little bit better. Make sure this flows freely. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another one with green on either side, and this gets glued on top of this guy right over here. So try to we try to make that as symmetric as possible. Take good old super glue. And we go ahead and glue it on. Okay, so any old way, I suppose. Try to make it even, as even as you can. Okay, what I'm going to do now is build something of an arch. So on this side here, I'm going to take another uh, fashioned piece. And we're going to put it onto here. The colors that are going to be there are the same as this, so it's orange. I'm going to obviously have to do something about these stickers here. But I'm going to put an orange on both sides here and here. Okay, so I have that over here. And once again, we make with the super glue. Now what I've taken to do doing is sanding these pieces before I super glue it on. It just sticks so much quicker. Whoops. So much easier. So much better. As long as I don't drop it. And just plop that down to here. Okay, so that's that's there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put another piece onto here. We're going to glue this one on as well. And it's going to look the same thing. Orange on the back and orange on the front. Okay, so I have this over here. Now what I'm going to do is using the Dremel and the sander, I'm just going to sand this a little bit here. Not much, just a, a little bit of coarseness. I say it doesn't take much and then wherever I'm going to pin it down to actually we'll say this over here I'm going to sand this as well there we go Dremel is a modder's best friend okay super glue is applied liberally or conservatively depending on your political bent a good amount. Okay, now this one is placed in here. We've got to carefully place it so that it's lined up just right. And after you sand it, it really does bind pretty quickly, pretty quickly, unless that happens. Just so I can visualize it a little bit better. I just move that down.
Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to put another piece over here. This piece, however, if we were to just kind of pick a random one here, that's going to have an orange and a green. So it's going to be a corner piece uh, with an orange and a green. Obviously, this isn't the right one, but we're going to super glue that down onto here as an orange and a green. Okay, so basically we've got this one that has a green and orange corner. That's going to be super glued right onto here. Whoops, right on there. So we'll go ahead and prime this a little bit. And as this is going to fit right over here, we'll prime this a little bit too. And super glue time. Okay, and on it goes. Okay. Now notice this has no sticker here, that's okay. All right, the next step is to put another double green piece right in here. So that's where we're gonna super glue it next. Bring this down. And this will slide into here. Okay, we'll bat these out of the way. Lay the glue down. Okay, make sure it fits. Okay. The way this next one is gonna go is it's gonna plop into here. It's gonna be another double green, but it's gonna be attached to this piece. Not this piece down here, but this piece up here. So it's gonna actually move. Now it's gonna be attached to this piece here. So it's gonna move along with this like this. Just like that. So we're gonna attach it to here. Okay, so with this here, this is gonna to stick to this guy over here. Now we make with the super gluing. All right, so we can line it up just like this. Okay. Now from here, we're going to finish up the aspect of, of this arch by gluing these guys over here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna glue on top of here and it's gonna be once again orange and orange. Then we're gonna glue another one onto here and that's gonna be orange and orange. But we're, so just to kind of demonstrate it, I'm gonna have two. So let's say here, here, and then I'm gonna have one more right in here. This guy is not gonna get glued on top of this. This guy gets glued on top of this piece over here and this guy gets glued on top of this piece over here. So all the way here. So basically, this is glued onto here, this is glued onto here. This guy is glued onto this piece 
and this piece. So really what it is is you're going to put three together, glue them on, then you're going to glue down here and here, place it down here, so that this is not attached to this piece, but these are attached to here and these three are attached to each other. So what I'm going to do is uh, get some pieces where I'm going to put orange and orange on both sides with this one and this one, and in this piece over here, that's just going to have one orange on it. Okay, so I have these three. What I'm going to do is glue these together. So these are going to be forever bounded as this arch type structure. So we'll go ahead and prime them for super gluing. Here. Here. And here. that black again. Okay, we're going to super glue, glue all of these together here. Hopefully you can see that there. So, number one. And number two. Alright, with that said, carefully line them up and super glue them together. Okay, once we do that, we then super glue them to here. But we're going to super glue this one and this one, but not this one. This one must remain um, free, a free agent. Okay, so finally, last but not least. Find this. Find this. And lay this down. And lay this down. Place this in, and we'll see where the sparks fly. Okay, I have one more green sticker to place over here, which I'll take from here. And again, these stickers I can fix up later. I just want to put the structure together. better there. Okay. And let that sit in there. Okay. And here we have a mini version of this guy. This is Tony Fisher's Cube Illusion. And I wanted to make pattern basically uh, off the same concept, a mini version of that. And when looking at it, see if we can get the illusion to come out. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna refine the stickers a little bit more, kind of check the motion. Okay, there. So I always thought that this was a really cool kind of a puzzle. Um, so I'm just gonna have to um, refine it a little bit more. But anyway, so this moves nicely over here, nicely over here. So this is the top portion, much like the top portion over here. So it's a fairly simple, straightforward modification that you can you can do. Just gotta make sure that this moves cleanly. So here's this part. Only moves up to here, then can't move any further. And should be able to move this inner arch as well. It's a little tight, but there it goes. So this can move uh, over here. I just have to make sure that this is super glued. Um, so there you have it, a little rickety, but it's the mini cube illusion. Give it a try, do better than me. Okay, so I'm coming back to you with the uh, mini cube illusion. 
uh, next to the uh, cube illusion. What I did is I lubricated it. I haven't. Uh, I did some changing with uh, some of the stickers. I haven't really changed it too much. I'm probably going to be doing that uh, a little bit more, but this helps bring out the cube illusion a little bit more where you can see the optical illusion there. I like how this looks like a 2x2, two two, this looks like a 3x3, three three, whereas this is really just a 4x4, four four. and I wanted to design it very similarly to the movement of uh, Tony Fisher's version of this. Uh, so after lubricating it a little bit, I find the movement is, is actually very good. I'm very happy with it. So just like with this, you can't move it past here. You got to move it up to here. I wanted to design this so that it's very much like Tony's. So this butts up against here. I have to turn that back. Uh, in terms of the arch, there's always a little bit of an, uh, of an effort when it comes to turning through the arch here. And that just has to do with uh, you know how, how the puzzle has to be put together. So to here, I'm actually very satisfied with how smooth this moves over here. So I can move through the arch pretty well. Once again, I can't move it from this direction. I have to move it all the way back through this direction here. The arch itself moves independently. So, so I'm actually very happy with it. Uh, what I might do now that I know the technique is refine it a little bit, maybe buff the edges here, um, and like I say, get some better stickers for it. But this was more of a proof of concept, and I wanted to show you so that all you guys can try that at home as well. In terms of uh, scramblability and solvability, um, haven't really tried it yet, so I'm going to see how the solve compares to Tony Fisher's. And uh, again, my goal was basically to see if I can make a very similar experience, but just sort of brought down. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Anyway, again, very happy with it. Moves very well, and certainly a worthy project for any twisty puzzler who'd like to make one of these. Thanks for watching.